Hello and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial. My name is Legion and today I'll be teaching you how to export those UV maps for all of the aircraft that come with the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now first thing is we want to download and install Blender. The link for that will be in the description of this video. And of course you'll need the MSFS GLTF plugin uh, which will also be below. Now once we've got Blender open, I'm using version 2.9 here so this does work with the latest version of Blender. Uh, if you're using 2.8, I do believe it also works with that. So what we want to do here is open a general file. And then if we press A on our keyboard, that'll select all and simply click delete on your keyboard. That'll get rid of that. Now, for those of you who haven't installed the plugin before, simply go to edit, go to preferences. That will bring up your Blender preferences window. I believe it loads you to here to the interface by default. Simply go down to add-ons and then hit install up here. Once you do that, select your file. Now, depending on the plugin that you install, uh, it may be as either a Python uh, file itself or it might be in a zip. If it's in a zip, don't extract it. The way that Blender works, it seems to uh, use the, the zip as basically an installer for it. So once you've done that, I've got mine here already. So it's an MSFS toolkit. You just want to make sure um, that whatever you installed, has the tick next to it. So if I actually search uh, MSFS like so, you can see here the 3D view is the one that you'll probably put in today. So if you tick the box there, you may need to restart Blender, but once you do, we can get back into it. So to do this, all we're going to do is go to File, we want to go Import, select MSFS GLTF from the list. That will bring up your file manager window. Now I've already pinned mine to the favorites, but you simply want to locate the default directory of your Microsoft Flight Simulator. And once that's selected, go to packages. We want to go into the official folder this time. Don't worry because we won't be saving over your official files. For me, it's Steam. For you, uh, it might be one store if you're using the Microsoft version uh, from either the Game Pass or the Microsoft Store itself. Then we go into Steam. Now for this one today, I'm just going to select, uh, well, for example, this C152. And we're going to go to Sim Objects, Airplanes, open up the main folder for it, so C152. And we're just looking for one here that says Model. So you can see Model here. Once we've got that, we've got the cockpit, a bunch of LODs. You want to select the LOD that has the lowest number. So this works in basically distance. So double zero would be really close and then 06 would be further away, less of a render. Um, so that's where the model doesn't start to look as sharp, for example. So we're going to go LOD 00, and I'm just going to go import that file. Now, this might take a little while depending on your computer, but once it's loaded, we can simply go ahead and select what we're trying to export it. So, for example, in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and select the fuselage. So as you can see here, I can just left click on the body of it. If it happens to look like this, chances are you've selected the decal file. That's simple. You just click again and it should pick up the rest of it. Okay. So now that we've got that in there, you just want to hit tab, which will chuck you into edit mode. And you'll notice the wireframe for the aircraft does appear. Now up in the top right hand corner here next to options, if you hover up here with your mouse, you'll notice your mouse uh, icon changes. It's simple left click and drag to the left. And it wants to work. Sometimes it'll be a bit touchy. There we go. So we've got that up here now. So what I'm going to do on my left window is go right up the top left here, just under file, and you'll see this little grid with the ball on it. Click that, and we just want to simply go down to UV editor, which will bring this window up here. So this is where it's going to show us our end result. Now do note that if there's certain areas of the aircraft that happen to be of a different material, they may not show yes, so you'd have to go through and select those as an additional uh, selection. So for me today, I am obviously working with the fuselage. So if I open the fuselage tree here on the right, and then we select this one as well, you'll see I've got fuselage, wings, glass, landing, tail, rivets, all that sort of stuff. So if I click on fuselage, now that we're in edit mode, I can go down here to this little uh, red globe under the green triangle, and then you'll notice this wing window pops up. Now we have assign, select, and deselect. What we're doing today, we will just click select. As we do that, you'll notice the map appears straight away in the left-hand side here. So what this is doing, it's basically going, anything that's using this texture here, display as a UV map. So you can see it's rather messy in terms of uh, 
locating things, but this is more just a way of getting you to have a bit of a guide uh, as to knowing what you're doing. So that is how that's done. Now I'm just going to deselect this one and click on the wings. And if we go select, you'll see it begins to have the wings file. Now in this, you can see that it goes over this area. What this generally means is that it's a mirror. So basically anything that you do on this side, on the opposite side, it may mirror the text, the logos, it can really be a bit of a, a bit of a pain as such. So uh, once we do that, it comes down to, of course, exporting it. So what we're going to do for that is go up the top left hand corner here and click on UV. Now, once we do that, right down the bottom here, it says export UV layout. That will bring up this window. You'd want to save this into a folder of your choosing. So I'm going to quickly make a new folder and uh, we'll just call this C152 UV, like so. Now I'll go into this folder. You can see here on the size, this is the width and height of the image. So you just want to click on that. Now, if you were doing 2K, 4K, 8K and, and so on, you just put an asterisk like so. So you can do that shift eight on most keyboards, depending on, of course, your keyboard layout language, which will put in the asterisk. And then in this case, I'm going to go for a 4K texture. So if I put in four, that will actually multiply the number on the left here. So 1024 by four. So when I click off it or hit enter, you'll notice it changed to 4096. And we do the same for underneath it like so. And that does that. Now, one of the things you might wish to do is um, change the opacity of this. It's simple as adjusting this here. You can do that through there. So by default, it's 0 0.25, which I find to be uh, pretty, pretty decent. It tends to do a lot of what we need. So I'm just going to go to export UV layout. Okay. So once I've done that, now I'm going to select here... Uh, set it to the same aspect ratio as what we've got. So 4096. And once we've got that sorted, we can simply open up our documents, go to wherever we saved it. So for me, it was documents and then C152, C152, and then we've got fuselage. Now I can simply drag this over Photoshop and let go. And you'll notice it's put that in there. So obviously we've got a black background at the moment. So I just want to unlock this layer by double clicking on it like so. I'm just going to go color overlay. And in this case, I'm going to set it to white. So now that that's done, you have your UV layer and you can begin painting. Now I do suggest that you uh, utilize this to get those locations that you might have missed in the past into there. Um, and then once you're done, obviously hide the UV layer and your content should be within these boundaries of that section there. So once you've done that, one other thing I, I mentioned before that I'll show you is something like uh, if we select the fuselage, for example. So I'll deselect that and we'll select the fuselage, which gives us this mess here. In this case, it doesn't look like it is one of these files that actually have the additional uh, map for us. So I'm actually going to open another file. So we'll go new, general, won't bother saving that. A and then delete again. And we want to go file, import. And then once we've done that, MSFS. All right. So once we've done that, we simply want to find the aircraft file again. So Microsoft Flight Simulator. Then we go down packages, official, for me, Steam once again. And I'm going to find the CJ4 because I know that that has this file. Uh, where are we? Let me just scroll through here till I can find it. Other option would be, of course, just to search it. Which I think I'm going to do just because it doesn't like me. So search CJ4 here. Open up this one here. Sim objects, airplanes, main file, model. And then we want to find the lowest LOD, which in this case is double zero again. We press import. Now this one, you can see some of them do this. It's simple, you left click on it and delete that. You don't need it. All right. So one of the things we now need to do is of course select the fuselage like so, which once we've done that, we need to find the rudder as well. So we can click up on the top right hand corner and type in rudder, which will bring all these up. So then you can use control. You're holding control and click on these items here. So we go, let's say rudder, 
uh, we'll have to go the rudder trim and the other rudder as well and then go down here and we press select. Now that's selected most of that and you can see here it's actually selected parts inside the aircraft because unfortunately the current import tool doesn't always uh, work correctly. So now I'm going to simply left click on the top right hand corner here and drag it across when it wants to work. There we go. Now once I've done that I can simply change this again over to UV editor and you'll actually notice that this has both the fuselage and then all the stuff for the tail. So by default, if I uh, didn't have these rudder bits selected uh, with this file in particular, the top left hand corner here is missing along with a couple of these sections within there. So once you get all that sorted, go ahead and export that as you did with the other one. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and comment below. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell and I'll see you in the next one.